Hello Genesis Church, it's me Johannes again. We are right now in Work It Out Wednesday and we talked about the whole week about the reset button and our lives and we spoke about the hand, how um, the first sin come in the life, in the world, through grabbing with the hand, how Jesus pierced hands fixed on the cross, that we are his hands right now and then we saw also um, how to how the, the, the blessing come through, through or the reigning with God come to withdraw the hands from, from bad things. And we talked Monday about uh, Moses, how why he can don't come to Israel or can't don't come to Canaan because he he hit with his hands uh, and he need to talk but he hit with his hands. And today I will sp speak with you about a very special thing. You know, when, when I grew up, I was not a Christian. I born in a Christian family, but, uh, you know, I, I, I go in crooked, I went in crooked lines my whole life, you know. Um, I was a bouncer and many bad things. And when I had problems, um, I, did, uh, I did it in this way. I, I went to my father and asked him, Papa, I have problems, please pray for me. I want a touch uh, from Jesus, that he touched me and he changed me. But I don't want to change my life, I want only to be touched from Jesus. You know, and many people are the same. They, they come to the church, they have problems, they give money because they have problems. They say, please, pastor, pray for me, but I don't want to change something. We want only a small touch from Jesus. It's like you high-five Jesus. You say, okay, I want you also only for a say you are only my savior. I touch you on your hands, I, I give you a high five, I shake it out, you are my savior, but not anymore. And when I have a problem, I come, and when I don't have a problem, I go away. And many, many people are in this way. I don't know, maybe you as American, you're different, but here in Germany, we see it many times that people come in the church and say, oh, please pray for me, I have a problem, please pray for me, I have a new car, or I need a new job. And I say, okay, you are a Christian. No, no, not yet, but please, I need a blessing. They want to touch the high five from Jesus, that he can touch him. Um, and we are, in Germany, we say in the theology that uh, this part is only the, the Savior. Jesus is only the Savior. You can high five him, but when you have this part, you need also the other part. is Jesus as Lord. This means he is the ruler in your life. He, he reigns in your life, not you anymore. And when you are a Christian, you don't high-five God only. You grab his hands and he pull you out from the sin. It means not only Savior, also Lord. And this means you not more, you, his hands are your hands and he pull you out from your dirt. And um, I want to speak about today with you. We have the opportunity this week to to push the reset button where you use God also, or Jesus only for a savior, only when you say, okay, I will high five him, but um, I won't, don't want him in my life. For me, was I was, in, I think, 19 or 18 when... Um, when, when I grab the hand from Jesus, not only only as a savior, also as a, as a Lord, it's changed my whole life. I was a bouncer, I said already in the service, and um, I make I was a drug dealer and all the bad things, you know. This was a many a long time a time ago, but when when Jesus catched me and he I I take his hand as the Savior and as the Lord, and then it's changed my life, and he cleans my hands, he uh, he makes my hands new. And we have the same opportunity today. I will say to you that um, this nail was for me, that um, for my sins. He takes this, um, this, uh, the nails in his hands that we are, can be free. And I will say to you, God um, pushed, put his hands or fixed his nail, uh, the hammered hands on the cross because of you, that your hands can be free. And he's not only your savior that you can high five him and you can touch him with your hands, he's also your, your Lord. And when you grab him as savior and as a Lord and you do what he wants, then he pull you out, okay? And I hope this for this week that we can, we can, um, we don't only think about it, not only pray about it, then we can live about it. I, will, I wish you a good week. Um, see, goodbye.